Hello viewers and welcome to another Forza 6 video to finish off the week. It's been a bit quiet on the channel this week. I haven't managed to get out all the Forza content I was hoping to get out but I am still working on it. Because many of you uh, now have the game and the early access and are playing it now. Uh, here we see a bit of the uh, Lotus going around Monza. Monza a good addition to uh, Forza Motorsport and I've been testing all the different cars with assists on, assists off. I've got my TX wheel working and there'll be some wheel videos coming up on the channel as well. Uh, but it's always a good barometer when you see a car like this. You know, it's racing round a track I know well. As you can see, the car's all over the place for me there. Uh, I'm going to talk a bit about the handling in, in a future video. I mean, I'm still getting information at the moment on what works well and where, you know, what doesn't work so well at the moment. I thought the demo was excellent, apart from the Indy car, which was well pretty poor to say the least uh, the cars in Formula 1 car at least I haven't tried the Indy car uh, is much more challenging to drive but at the same time you know still doesn't feel quite where I'd like it and I think a lot of the cars really sort of lack grip uh, on the whole uh, and I'm going to talk about this more in a future video uh, with a wheel I've only had one run with one car and the wheel and it's better on that one run. Uh, the wheel lacks wheel weight, and I'll mention that again in the video. It just lacks a weight, a sense of being. Uh, a lot of the detail on the tarmac just isn't quite what I'd like it to be in terms of that constant tactile feeling with the with the road surface, especially given the fact that some of the circuits, you know, the, the tracks are supposed to be laser scanned. And now, Formula One car. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back on a lot of this stuff. I mean. There's just a few issues with getting on the power, I find, uh, especially in the chicane, I think, turn one chicane, uh, you, 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 touch the f you touch the pedal and the wheels just seem to s spin up and that's not really how it should be, uh, but I'm going to talk about that in a future video as well. So, lots of stuff coming, uh, main thing for me is testing lots of cars and testing tracks, uh, we've got a review uh, on the way from James, he's going through the whole package, I'm just focusing on some of the handling and what I think of it so far, and we've got some comparisons as well inevitable with project cars coming up on the channel uh, and how those two stack up side by side they have the same courses have some of the same cars it's a good direct comparison on the same format uh, and i have to say with project cars the patch 3.0 really has made a big difference to it as well in all ways and it's amazing what a difference it's made so really looking good there car really struggling around Ascari, just sort of ice skating its way around there Again, just just challenge it. Oh, I say challenging, just just not finding the grip on it at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna do some more laps and see how I get on with it so far. So yeah, a lot of work was wasted, unfortunately. I've had trouble with streams. I did about eight hours of recording. It was all wasted earlier this week. So it's been one of those weeks where every video I've made, something's happened to slow it down. But over the course of the next week, we should get back into our daily content again. Uh, and going through all of that so lots of thoughts of coverage to come looking at different cars different tracks as I go back into that braking point turn one getting it better this time I'm realizing now just don't get on the power you should get on the power but don't get on the power at all um, because it's it's the way it's designed it is a, a specific way they sort of design the handling there uh, and traction control generally speaking uh, my experience of the game is leave it on don't turn it off because even with traction control on cars behave as if traction control is off it's, it's you know if you turn it off the wheels just spin up all the time and that's it's not not the point of it but we'll come back on all that um, so at the moment yeah I mean four to six is it's okay but it's not 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 perfect uh, extremely polished really nice visuals to it very polished nice menus nice structure but uh, for me, the core gameplay still needs a, a bit of work here and there. But uh, going around to Sky for the last time, we're going to do some comparisons with this, probably on F1 as well. Again, that's not ideal this year, is it? So uh, we've got two. It's, it's all negatives. It's all negatives. I'm sounding like uh, sounding like my YouTube comments now. <laughs> I'm moaning about racing games. But um, no, we're going to be testing it all out in the coming days, and uh, I'll give you guys some, some accurate feedback and what I've seen so far. But uh, that's it from me for this ramble, this moan on a Friday night, and there'll be more from me very soon.